Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Pranay. If you are watching my video for the first time, please do press the subscribe button and the bell icon so that whenever I post a video, it will be coming to you as a notification and you can watch it. So my channel consists of UPSC related things and also regarding the Baiju's IAS package, which I have purchased about four to five months earlier and I have already given reviews about how the Baiju's tablet was there and uh, I'll also provide you the new reviews whenever I be going through the new topic in that. So before you purchase Baiju's tab, you go to my channel and please watch the other videos relating to books, relating to all the things of the Baiju's and also UPSC are present in my channel. Okay, let's not waste the time and uh, today I'll be giving you the review of the book called International Relations. Okay. So international relations, before we go into this, I would like to tell you that international relations is covered in the GS paper 2. It comes under with polity and international relations. And also, if you like to choose the optional of political science and uh, international relations, international relations will be a major part in that optional also. Okay, so let's begin. It consists of uh, around uh, six chapters. The first one is the introduction to foreign policy. The introduction of uh, foreign policy, which means it's uh, just a basic thing, like it will be covering like what are the uh, differences between diplomacy and foreign policy. So what are the minimum basic things that are required for a country? What is a nation? How does it frame its foreign policies? Uh, what is the foreign policy? So all these things will be related to the first chapter. The second chapter is the theory of international relations. As you all know that there are various theories in international relations like Marxism, idealism, there is feminism, there is green theory, etc, etc. So all these things are covered in the chapter 2. Okay, chapter 3 is about the pre-independence era. The pre-independence era, let's say the Mughal period. In Mughal period, like what were the trade, like what are the countries they were trading with, what are the pacts or si uh, pacts that were signed by Akbar or who were the travelers who have visited during the Mughal time. Also, not only Mughal, the other uh, things are also there. But the basic, uh, we were uh, dependent on the Mughals before our uh, British undertook us. The Mughal Empire was the most powerful empire at that time. So, most of the tra trade was being done by them. Okay. So, next is the era of Indian Renaissance. So, the era of Indian Renaissance means... In Indian uh, Renaissance in India, so the social reformers and also the freedom fighters were there like Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Mahatma Gandhi, there are various other leaders who were influenced by the Western thought, the Russian thought, the German thoughts, the way of thinking and these people also had made a mark like for example Mahatma Gandhi has made a mark of non-violence in the international community. So this topic deals with all those. So next one is the factors influencing Indian foreign policy. See, for any foreign policy to be framed for any country, there are numerous factors. For example, like its geography, the relations with its neighboring states, the water content that is present here. Not only water content, I would say the natural resources like rivers, lakes, ponds, minerals, uh, especially petroleum. So there are various factors which shape the fundamental foreign policy of every country okay I, I hope you understand my words so these all things are dealt in the factors influencing the Indian foreign policy like for example I would like to tell you from my side that we had a foreign policy the uh, framework like the first one was neighborhood first that's why whenever you see that Indian Prime Minister, for example, Narendra Modi was getting coronated in 2014 or 2019, the people who were present were not of very far countries, okay? They were neighboring countries like Bhutan, Sri Lanka, etc., etc., whoever were there. Because first of all, our main target is to secure our neighborhood. So neighborhood first is the first uh, what do you say point of our foreign policy like that there are many other things I just gave you an example so that you can understand so the sixth one is Cold War and post Cold War so what is Cold War so Cold War as you all know that uh, in the World War two Russia and USA they fought on the same side but uh, after the war was ended and they emerged victorious there was a fight for the strongest in the world 
I'm sorry I said Russia but it's actually United Socialist Soviet Russia so it's USSR it's a union of Russia and the neighborhood uh, some Ukraine and etc etc those countries so they were not directly involved in a war but they were completely polarized they polarized the entire world into uh, one side with USSR and the other side with USA so that was Cold War Cold War actually means it's not an actual war it's a war of words so how uh, India remained neutral at the time NAM was formed non-alignment movement and uh, India and various other small countries they have tried uh, to come together and they tried to maintain neutrality so this is what is discussed in the Cold War and post Cold War after Cold War after the breakdown of the Soviet Union what happened how our uh, foreign policy how our interests and everything changed so that is given in that chapter so other than that there are miscellaneous things like uh, different forums for example you have ASEAN you have uh, uh, G20 summits then you have G7 then you have BRICS you have IBSA you have BIMSTEC which is also relevant in, uh, in latest news because this time BIMSTEC was invited for uh, coronation of uh, Narendra Modi government so these are all the things that are present in international relations book I would say apart from this what all you have to read you have to read you have to go through the daily news uh, analysis of Baiju's or you can go through analysis of anything you have to read the papers and you have to be intact and in touch with the latest things that are going on around in our country what are the important things that we shape with uh, our interests national interest is also one more key point in shaping a foreign policy so recently Mike Pompeo has uh, visited India so you just go through in the net like what are the bilateral uh, talks or trilateral you can say JAI J -A -I, Japan America and India is also now becoming stronger they are thinking about uh, uh, making new reforms in their uh, existing friendship so I would like to tell you that you go through all of this and uh, many of the people have also asked me to provide insights into these uh, topics so I have been following international relations for the past five to six years so I would definitely tell you I would share I would like to share my knowledge in the form of videos so please subscribe and uh, the next video will be coming soon I would also like to tell you that the next video will be about the tab and uh, uh, the review of uh, geography also I would be giving you like how the geography is there and also I would like to tell you that there are tests also included in this tab and I'll show you it in the next video okay guys until then bye Please prepare heartily and also stop wasting time. Whenever you want to uh, know about any other topics, please free, please free, free to comment in the comment section. Okay. Thank you and goodbye. Have a nice day.